Now that you've seen how to calculate F&A using both indirect cost methods and then compare them for use in your budget, let's look at an example of a budget that includes subawards. Projects that include subawards require a few extra steps of review and calculations. The good news is our budget templates do all of that for you. Still, let's dig in. Under the USDA method, the indirect costs we request on the project cannot exceed 30% of the total amount requested. This means that between us and our subawards, our combined indirect cost requests cannot exceed 30% of the total. So, for example, if we have a project budget that totals $100,000, no more than $30,000 can go towards the indirect cost request. This means we must divvy up the $30,000 between us and our subawards. But how do we do that? The budget template provided to you by your pre-award specialist will take care of the math for you. Let's take a look. Here you'll see a typical research proposal budget with some personnel costs and other expenses, as well as several subawards. You'll also see that we have two different graduate students this time with tuition for both of them. And there are the two subawards that we're gonna incorporate in this budget. We list out the directs and indirects separately. That'll come into play later. One of the things this template has that the other did not is a tab called the subaward summary tab. This tab is where the researcher must enter all of the subaward costs into. I repeat, do not enter the sub amounts into the main budget tab. The subaward summary tab has some slick math programmed into it that helps with our modified total direct cost calculation that will come into play later. Your pre-award specialist will set this tab up for you given the information you list in your intent to submit form. The math on this tab will be piped into your main budget tab. So whether you already have your exact amounts from your sub that have been institutionally approved or you're just using this for some preliminary um, math playing around to figure out what you can give your subs, this is the tab you want to enter that information onto. First, let's look at the modified total direct cost calculation. In rows 69 through 71, you will see that the modified total direct base cell is excluding tuition and the subaward amounts, but then is adding back in the amount of F&A we're allowed to request on the subawards. There's we will see it's excluding the indirect costs and direct costs of our subs. And it's also excluding the tuition of our two grad students. But then you'll see in this fancy formula bar, it's adding back in the amount that we are allowed to take F&A on our subawards. That's not a thing you really need to worry about manually programming as this template is gonna to come to you with all of that already entered in. From there, we have our new modified total direct cost base that we're going to take 55% of to get our indirect cost request under the modified total direct cost method. Next, you'll see the USDA total federal funds method is being calculated in rows 73 through 76. The first thing the budget template calculates is the total amount of the direct costs that the budget includes between the U of M and our subawards. We do this by taking the total direct costs on the project, which is that blue cell right there, and we subtract out the indirect costs of our subawards. By doing this calculation, it leaves us with just the direct cost requested between the U of M and our subawards. From there, we determine the max amount of indirects we're allowed to have on the project. Using the 42.857% total direct cost calculation the USDA gave us, we determine the max amount of indirects that we are allowed to have between our direct costs and the sub's direct costs. Finally, we subtract the sub's indirect costs from that new total, which leaves us with what is left of indirect costs to grab once we've allowed the sub to take theirs. The calculation is complicated and has taken me years to fully comprehend, so if that felt like a lot, don't worry about it. The budget template is programmed to do the math for you as long as you enter in your amounts into the Sum Award Summary tab. Similar to our last budget, the cells that produce the lower indirect costs are programmed to highlight in green. Once you see the cells that appear in green, you will want to manually enter them into row 66 of your budget template. And you will see in this example, the modified total direct cost ended up being the method that produced the lower amount of F&A. The reason being is we had subawards, pretty high dollar amounts on them, as well as two grad students with tuition in every year. That's a lot of exclusions to exclude from the base, which meant even lower F&A because we had a lower base. 
please know that your pre-award specialist is happy to jump on Zoom at any time to help you work through your budget to make sure that the indirect costs are correct. It's our job and we are happy to do it. If you've made it this far, thank you for tuning in. Sorry about the notifications going on in my background, but I really hope this presentation was helpful.